Beats. What's up guys, Laser here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to kick Mirak's ass. Dude, that dude is so overpowered, but we're going to find out how to take care of him right now. When you first meet Mirak on the cliff, he's just going to start monologuing. Shut him up. Use a great sword. It's faster than a battle axe and faster than a war hammer and still deals pretty good damage. Pretty soon, he just becomes ethereal and rage quits. So, when he gets away from you, make sure you use the moldy books as your cover so you can stay away from all of his magic attacks that he's going to be shooting at you, man. Speaking of long range attacks, make sure you're using your bows and arrows to, you know, knock off the stress from all of his magic attacks from behind those books. Soon, when he runs low on life, he's gonna call in a dragon. This is dragon number one. Just be patient, guys. Ignore me trying to idiotically kill that dragon. He's going to kill the dragon. He's going to take the life and use it to regenerate his health. So, uh, you know, don't be, don't be, you know, discouraged by that. You know, just that's one out of three dragons. Just get ready. Avoid fire attacks and his frost attacks because they completely drain your life. Stay away. Whenever you're fighting this douchebag, remember that you you need to have lots of health potions and stuff on you. Because, you know, he uses that magic, you know, wizard technique where he just shoots his magic and just backs up away from you at the same time. So make sure you have plenty of health potions to use, you know, so you don't die ahead of time. He will rage quit yet again. So, make sure that you are being wary of the dragons that are up in the sky. And that dragon is, most importantly, Mirak's traitor dragon that's going to be helping you a lot. Just stay out of his way and he'll distract Mirak long enough for you to get some kills in. After proceeding to beat the shit out of him again, then he'll just leave and just summon another dragon. This is dragon number two of the three. There's only one more left. Don't try to kill the dragon like I'm doing. It's impossible. You're never going to get it done. He's going to absorb that, he's going to have some more life, just be patient, there's only one more left. I recommend using the whirlwind shout because it'll help minimize the amount of damage you take from his long range attacks when you're trying to rush him. That way you can just be right up on him and you can just tear him up with your blade. A very important thing to remember when fighting Mirag is when he gets gangbang, he gets nervous. So. He's just going to try to shout at you, just going to try to use more magic. If you start crowding him, he gets really nervous. So he's going to try to run away from you and everything like that. Rage quit as usual. And uh, you and the other dragon, you know, will definitely start dominating him. Um, then he'll rage quit again. He's just going to randomly disappear. Beware the random betrayal that this dragon does. I don't understand. I don't know if that's a bug or anything like that. And so he ends up killing the traitor dragon. Who knew? But anyway, that's the third dragon. And he takes a life from that. So there is nothing holding you back now. People, take a health potion. Get jiggy with it. Kill him immediately. Fortunately for you, Mirak is not very smart. And his love for library books will prevent him from trying to attack you as long as you don't hurt him from behind the books. But, when you get the chance, rush at him and beat his ass. Whenever you run low on life, remember, don't forget about your long range attacks. Use them all the time. When you're making a final stand, don't hold back, keep hitting him. He's going to look like that he's rage quitting at the last minute, which he is. But, there's a catch this time. As you can see, he is completely gone. You can't find him at all. But he's going to appear out of this tiny little nasty hole here. As you can see, he's being held up by a force. Who is yeah, that's that gross you Diedrich guy. He completely murdered him and destroyed him. So you don't have to do it. I kind of wanted to deliver the final blow. But yeah, just ignore me still trying to kill him. You'll get your achievement for the end of Mirak. Your... The Diedrich guy will go ahead and start monologuing pointlessly. You will get some power-ups and everything like that at the end. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, 
yeah, that's just about it. You dragon soul absorbed. Pretty cool stuff. Oh yeah, there's your teleport back home. But you gotta do your dance first. Yeah, I kicked your ass! I kicked your ass! Yeah! I'm done. <laughs>